Orwell's 1984, we have a very cold, dark, and empty, and indeed colorless existence. It seems very black and white. The world does not seem to have much color in it, and if you watch the film 1984 at the time, it's largely in black and white. And you'll see a similar use of color in the film Schindler's List. There's one moment which transforms the perspective of Oscar Schindler in the movie, and that's when he sees a little girl playing in a puddle, and he has a red dress on. And suddenly he sees an individual, and the individuality of a little girl with a red dress who has color and life and humanity suddenly shakes him out of what he's been doing and leads him to then backpedal and try and reverse what he has been doing, which is profiting from the dehumanization of others. In 1984, we have no such color landscape. It's just black and white. And there's a sense of alienation that is part of the landscape here. But it's done in the name of the greatest possible good. But in this case, it's not for the greatest number of people. It's for the party, the party in power.